Uh, I mean, the, the thing about restaurants is it's a it's a fo- it's an every night focus group of, of how people are feeling about the economy. Right. Um, you know, and what's happening is it's getting squeezed from every sort of corner and edge. I mean, um, labor's expensive. Commodities, meaning, you know, the cost of goods, food, et cetera, is expensive. And of course, occupancy costs is always expensive. The landlords never look, look out for you. I mean, they're always, you know, they have <laughs> very deep pockets you. and they're, and, and they're not going to, they don't take, they don't take the pressure off. On the, on the other side of it, I think the consumers are feeling the pressure as well because they turn on the TV, they, they look at social media, media and they understand that, you know, we're, we're on the brink of some really bad economy here. And so people, they tighten their wallet. You think that? We're on the brink of a pretty bad economy. Well, they say, you're what saying they think? say we are, and so that affects. Yeah. I do. They, you right? do. You I, do. I, I, yeah, I mean, listen, uh, unfortunately, I've been around long enough to see this happen before. Yes. And uh, ultimately, we, we're able to come out of it, but you do have to hold on tight. Um, but I, I, I feel like something not good is happening. I mean, you look at all the reports, and I watch what people are, the, the way people are acting in the restaurants. It's a really good meaning, way. Meaning? Meaning like, so the person that, you know, last week was buying a $75 bottle of wine, maybe this week it's a $40 bottle of wine. Mm-hmm. They're making decisions that are actually squeezing the check average in the restaurants. So interesting. And so you, and so you understand exactly that, you know, it makes it very, very difficult. On the other side of it, uh, the restaurateur, the, the proprietor, is having a hard time making profits.